G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Jim, you're watching Red Trucks, and today we have a mail call. This mail call is from Paul Sparky Spa over there in Cuxhaven, Germany. Um, Sparky sent me uh, heaps of packages, and I've sent him a few back. Uh, my last package that I sent to him contained a few uh, Australian models and a couple of packets of salt and vinegar potato chips. Um, Sparky and I both enjoy the um, that particular flavour of potato chips, spark, um, salt and vinegar that is. So I'm looking forward to trying some German salt and vinegar potato chips. So let's uh, let's start opening. This is a really big box. This is the biggest box I've ever received. Got to figure out which is the front and which is uh, the bottom. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Got Santa Claus's beard in here, Sparky. Wow, that's so good. I can make a Santa Claus beard with this. Okay, let's put this to the side. This stuff feels amazing. Where do you get this stuff from? It's almost like snow. Okay, where will we start? Uh, I'm just going to get some of the stuff out and then I can... Do away with this box. Just put it to the side. Try not to give it away. Oh man, there's the catalog in there too. Some chips, two packets of chips. Man, oh man, look at this sicko catalog. Okay, I can put all the floppy stuff back in. I am going to reuse this packaging stuff. This is unreal. Okay. This could be a long video, guys, because look at this Siku catalogue. We're going to go through every single page. Put that there. Okay, there's a golden envelope here. What was the movie? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, where he gets a golden ticket. It's like a golden ticket into Sparky's um, collection. I didn't even think of sending you a Christmas card, Sparky. Wow, look at this. A, a German Christmas card. Wow. What does it say? Aha. Uh -huh. There's a picture of Sparky. I'm not sure if he would want everyone to see him, so just to be safe, I won't show you his picture. But it shows him walking his greyhound dogs. I think there's about four or five of them. Anyway, so it basically says, oh, I think, I think I can show you. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a healthy New Year, sorry. Jewel, Sparky, Dusty, Alma, Max, Lulu and Pete. That's his five greyhound dogs. Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy new year. Thanks, Sparky. I'll put that there. Yeah, you can see that. Alrighty, let's have a look at the um, chips. Salt and vinegar. Funny fresh. I think I should I think I should try one right now actually and then I'll reseal it for later. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put one at the back there. And let's open the one up and do a taste test. Let's smell it. Mmm, smells exactly how I would expect. So what have we got? We've got um, thin cut. They're not crinkle cut. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I like them. Very nice, Sparky. 
I think I can stop eating them. Mmm. Very nice. I didn't expect them to taste, you know, quite similar to Aussie salt and vinegar chips, but they do. Excellent. Okay, big into the cars. Okay, the first one we're looking at is a Holden Statesman. Wow. This is obviously a Sparky um, Custom. From a Night Bonus set. So originally it was a Chevrolet and he's converted into a Holden Statesman. I'm always unsure whether to open Sparky's Customs or not. Um, because if I don't, we can't see the detail. But then, uh, I guess I can um, I can reseal the packaging. Cause, yeah, I can. Because Sparky had to do that himself to get in there, didn't he? Though well, he has used a really good quality glue. <laughs> Maybe we'll just open one. And leave a rest. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, reseal this. Although, when it's stuck back, you wouldn't know it's been open. So maybe I can. Okay, let's see what he's done to it. Well, he's painted the exhaust and the transmission and the suspension. And possibly chrome the wheels or done a wheel swap. Painted the tail, um, painted the headlights. And he always does the interior really well. Um, where'd my torch go? I've just... Um, I've just covered this in a layer of dust by opening it, so I'll give it a bit of a polish, a bit of a dust, I mean. So yeah, look at that interior. Let me try and get a good angle. He's painted the seats, the dashboard, and there you go. Yeah, very nice. It's amazing how these black cars show up the dust so badly, eh? I think he's painted that uh, rear window mounted brake light. Yeah, very nice. Tail lights have been painted. Another sparky conversion for me. Sparky custom for me, rather. <laughs> Let's set up a little uh, stand here and put them on there. Where do you go? There we go, that's better. Okay. Uh, let get rid of some of this rubbish. Which one will we look at next? Hmm. Okay, let's look at this one. Wow. A Siku set. Now, I do not have this one. I think Siku, you can normally open them and get them out and then, yeah. That's a good thing about Siku. They have these little plastic flaps you can just bend out and then get the model out. Usually. Yeah, it's, it's a really good packaging idea. I guess it makes them easier to steal in the shops though, but us collectors really appreciate it. Wow, look at this boat. That is amazing. So you got a die cast um, trailer. The boat is plastic. Does it come off the trailer? Yep. 
That is so cool. This is the second boat that um, Sparky has sent me. The first one, he actually scratch built himself out of um, spare parts. That is great. And it comes with this little Unimog. Fireware. Let's have a look at the interior. Left hand drive. Nice dashboard. The only word I can make out there is Siku. <laughs> Treaded tires. And that just hooks up like that. Oh, it goes under that. There's a flap there. And you just gotta push it under somehow. Yeah, I won't press my luck with that. It's a little bit tight, but it just hooks under there. Yeah, that is that is so great, Sparky. I love that one. Okay, and next we have a Tirana A9X. Uh, now, recently you would have seen that Rob from Ripper Raceway sent me one of these. And I told Sparky that I was already getting one, not to send me one. But he said, that's okay, I'll, I'll do a, a custom of it, so it'll be uh, a little bit different. I actually should have grabbed Robin's one to compare them. So that I could see the differences. But I think Sparky has painted the interior. Oh, and he's definitely, uh, he's definitely done some detailing underneath. Look at the uh, exhaust in it. Again, I've got that dilemma. Should I open it or shouldn't I? I think it deserves to be open. Because what's the point of having it for years and years and you don't get to, um, you, don't, you don't get to feel it and experience it fully. So yeah, I'm sure Sparky would want me to open it anyway. Here she is. Yeah, so he's detailed the exhaust system and the transmission. Um, I'm pretty sure he's detailed the interior. Trying to get a good angle of this. Yeah, I can see some colour on the steering wheel. Just not doing a good job of showing it that well. Do I need to zoom it a bit? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, you can see how he's painted the steering wheel brown. I believe he's painted that seat red. But I can't be 100% sure, but I think he has. I'll just give it a bit of a dusting because of that packaging dust. Yeah, red racing seat, brown steering wheel. And I don't think he's done anything to the front. I think that's all the original. The exhaust has been chromed. The lights were originally um, painted, so he hasn't done that. Yeah, it's a it's a great job, Sparky. Wow, to think I've got two of these now. Yeah, that's great. Great job, Sparky. Beautiful. Okay. 
And next we have this security semi. Apparently this one is nowadays is quite hard to find. And so I'm lucky to get one of these. So let's uh, let's take him out, have a look at him. This is a 187, yeah, 187 scale. Is it held in with something? No. Here we go. It's got some good weight to it. So this is a Mercedes. Here we go. Made in China. Serial number Siku. And that. So yeah, uh, the um, stabilizers or outriggers actually work. That's a it's a nice touch. So they fully extend out. You go back a bit, bit too close. And then let's check out the ladder. The ladder will rotate. Yeah. Uh, it extends quite well. Very nice. Nice truck rims. It's a METS body. There's the little control seat there in black. Let's have a look at the interior. Left hand drive. Yeah, that is awesome. I do have quite a few Siku fire trucks and fire vehicles. You know, they do a really great job. Yeah, that's, that's really fantastic. Very nice. Let's see if we can um, fit on the little display there. There we go. Okay, now we better get into the catalogue because there's quite a few pages. Uh, do I need to go back a bit? Maybe back even f further. I'll try and fit in the shot for you guys. Nice farming equipment there, John Deere tractor. Super Siku. Oh, what's that? A remote control tractor. Wow. Got the lights and the wheels turn. Powered by Bluetooth, wow. That's amazing. It's got sound as well. Man, that will cost a fortune. Wow, this book is so heavy, Sparky. This would have really made the postage very expensive. It's a nice Land Rover fireware there. Oh, look at that T1 combi van. Oh, these Sikus you can construct yourself and customize them. That's a good idea. Great for the kids. Smaller scale Sikus. I've seen a few of these fire vehicles. Um, the detail isn't great on them. I must admit, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't buy them probably. Yeah, I find the larger scales uh, a bit better quality-wise. 
that's a that's a cool one with all those tracks. A lot of these I haven't seen before. Wow, so many. I've seen this one on Diecast Dude's channel. Oh, here's the one Sparky just got me. The fire helicopter. That looks like the same boat as this one. Just different colours. Oh, that's snow. Snowplough thing's cool. Snowmobile. Rescue. Wow. I've seen this one too, I think, on Diecast Dude's channel before. Give six. Seen these boats on Diecast Dude's channel before too. <laughs> That's not a bad one, that Magiris, multi star. Road train. Hmm. Wow, look at that crane. Oh, is that the one Sparky just got me? I think it is. That one there. Yep. Always cool construction vehicles. Oh, that piston bully. I've got my eyes on that. It's like a rescue vehicle. There's a couple of versions of that. There's a small one and a large one. The large one's got a lot more detail. Global security. What do you do there? Cardboard sheets. Hmm. These all come with like cardboard sheets to put the stickers on the on the vehicles. Nice transporter. Was that a it's a motorhome, eh? I've seen that one before too on someone's channel. Wow, there's so much stuff to see. Well, here's some fire stuff. Haven't got that six wheeler. The man. VWT6. Wow. With stickers. Even got a fire boat. <laughs> Police stuff. Yeah. AMG is pretty cool too. Oh, the wheels come off. There's a Hummer rescue. Monster trucks. This is that combi van again? That T1 bus. Aircraft. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, trailer sets even with people. Look at that. It's just clear. It's a 
pictures seem a bit blurry, I'm not sure. That's better. Except it's too close. Okay. There was just so much to look at. I'll have a really close look at it later on. I just want to show you guys while I've got it out. What is that? A truck with construction container. Wow. Transporter. Transporting a prefabricated house. Various buses, school bus with a pull out. Is that an engine or luggage thing? I'm not sure. Looks like an oh, opening hood. Plus the doors open. It's cool. Oh, big bendy bus. We have those over here too. Construction vehicles. Oh, there's that piston bully again. That's the. That's a really good one, that one. Secure International. There's that one I, that Sparky got me again. So, so these are the French emergency vehicles and buses. Oh, this one down here was the Netherlands, Netherlands. And then Osterich. Is that Austrian? Or is that Swiss? I'm not sure. It looks like a Swiss cross, doesn't it? Boats, play sets. This is more kiddie stuff. Skip through this a bit. Yeah, this looks like farming farming equipment, is it? Well, that's a remote control truck there. Remote control excavator. No, look at that. Even that one's remote control. It's amazing what they can do these days. These are all remote control. Farming equipment. Sorry about the length of this video, guys, but there's so much to show. I actually used to drive a Massey Ferguson truck in my old job. Uh, not truck. A Massey Ferguson tractor, as I should say, the trailer, a tipping trailer. It was a Massey Ferguson 135, really old, probably from the, the 70s or something. But I drove that for about a decade, transporting stuff around the uh, workplace. All these accessories, wow. It's amazing. Getting towards the end is a Manitou. I love that multi track vehicle. I've also driven a John Deere front end loader. Yeah, very similar to that one actually. All the bucket attachments and things. Wow. Oh, Viking. Oh, 
Oh man, look at that machine. It's got wheels and tracks. I've never seen that before. Oh, that's amazing. It's like a half track, half track tractor. There's another multi track tractor. And stuff for the kids, toddlers. Wow, that's an amazing catalogue, Sparky. Thank you so much for that. 2023 too. Alrighty guys, I better wrap this up now. Uh, thanks again to Paul Sparky Spa. Really appreciate what you send me, mate. Um, and hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And... That also applies to all of my viewers. Um, I'll probably do one or two more videos before Christmas, but in case I don't, just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye for now.